Emily Beekmans received this as a gift. It's a depiction of what she was like during breast cancer. Diagnosed three years ago at the age of 36, Emily was afraid her career was over. But one thing frightened her more. My first fear was for my kids and, and wanting to fight as much as I could so that I could be there for them and knowing how precious that was for me, which makes me cry. <laughs> for a time, Jared and Tia never left their mom's side and even slept in the same bed. They're too old for that now, but still spend as much time together as possible. Because his mother is a single parent, Jared understood her fear. If she were to pass away to cancer, like me and Tia would be like by ourselves. Like she was scared that she'd be leaving us to fend for ourselves. After a left mastectomy, two reconstructive surgeries, and two more to go, the cancer is gone. There's relief, at least for now. It's kind of scary knowing that it might come back, and it might come back worse, and you can't do anything about it, and she might just die. To prevent that for as long as possible, Emily is doing everything she can to stay strong, such as being physically active. But there's a catch. After surgery, breast cancer patients often experience muscle restrictions in terms of length and strength. It's typically unsafe to strengthen their muscles using overhead weights. Here at Body Works, Emily found a suitable activity to make her reconstructive implants more comfortable and improve her mobility. Good, really twist with that cross. Sparring, it helped her rebuild muscle, regain balance, and relieve stress. Emily's personal trainer, Tanya Admins, often works with breast cancer patients. She says Emily sets an amazing example for them to learn from. She's so incredibly open. She knows she's going through these stages. She tells you, this is what I'm going through. This is the surgery I'm having. She's an incredible person that way. That was a good one. Emily takes that open attitude to her workplace as a therapist, but she used to hide her cancer. It made her feel safe. Filming Mom Has Cancer changed that. Whether I will see them, whether I will be there when they graduate, whether I'll be there to see my grandkids. She's honored her film won an award, but her goal? was to raise awareness. More comfortable people get seeing that you can live through this. I think that women are not gonna be scared in their 20s and 30s doing an exam, because if they find something, they know you can get through it. You can still feel beautiful, you can still be sexy, and you can still be a good mom. Emily puts her film out of mind in this room, because for her, it's all about creating a space where people can vent and cry. For Western News, I'm Bonnie Guan.